Hi, I'm Matthew Pryor, Creative Director on FIFA 18, and I'm here today to give you the main things that are new with this year's game. Don't show up to my show if you've got no... Firstly, there's an all-new motion technology system, which fundamentally changes the way the game plays. Playing with Cristiano Ronaldo feels like playing with Cristiano Ronaldo. It looks like playing with Cristiano Ronaldo. And that motion technology system, we can apply to players throughout the game. Atmosphere. Atmosphere is such a big thing in football. So we're bringing that to life with re a feature we call regionalization. For example, in South America, you will now see the lighting looks very different. You will see banners, uh, stadium elements, crowd reactions. All this stuff that makes atmospheres unique the world over is now in the game. We also then have year two of the journey. So the journey, Alex Hunter's story was an absolute massive success. This year we see where he goes and we're taking it to a wider world of football. So last year it was uh, set very much in England. This year it's going to uh, more of a global reach. I don't want to give it, like I say, I don't want to give too many spoilers away. Icons or legends as they were called when they were just unique to the Xbox. They're now available across all platforms. So PS4 gamers, Xbox and PC now have foot icons. All of those features kind of come under the umbrella of, of the Frostbite engine. So from a visual standpoint, if you take a look at FIFA 17, which looked amazing anyway, and you look at FIFA 18, it really is kind of night and day. This is kind of where we're bringing the visual uh, blurring the lines between the real world and the virtual world. A hugely exciting year for FIFA. Um, one of the biggest years we'll ever have.